south uh, end zone starting this game. Wayne Bowling will tee the football up at the 40. And number 24, uh, Clay Cole, who can absolutely run like a deer, will stand at his 10-yard line to receive Wayne Bowling's kick. Kick coverage has been a little bit of a problem for us this year. We've had two return for touchdowns against us. So uh, I'm anxious to see. Uh, Albert, we got a lot of kids playing hurt tonight, but I think it's a good sign when, you know, these young guys come out here and play beat up. Just I think it's going to be a game, you know, where the pride and the, you know, I'm thinking we're going to see a good hustle game tonight and a big turnaround. There is some good news for the Lee Academy coach. Jason Carpenter, our 10th grade fullback, backup fullback linebacker who saw a little bit of playing time last week. We'll see more playing time tonight. Bowling approaches it, gets the kick off the side of his foot. It's going to be fielded, and the youngster just falls on the ground as that was just a, a – he almost swiffed the kick, to be honest with you. And the youngster from Bio Academy fell on it just inside his 40 at the 39, and that's where the Bio Academy Colts will take over, first down and 10 from there. Let's call it the 38-yard line. That's one way to keep a long run back from happening, Albert. Yeah, but if you kick it out of bounds, they get it on the 35, not the 39. Yeah, but that, oh, I see what you mean. Good point. Clock is moving, 11.55 to go in the first quarter, just underway. Bio breaks huddle with a wide receiver left and a, and a slot to the left. And they're going to run a pitch sweep out here to number 24, Coles, and Coles is going to be knocked down. Might have, might have gained a yard on the play. John Martin Harris, along with number 56, Kerry Middleton, doing a good job for the Lee Academy Colts defense. It looks like a little extra intensity out there by the Lee Academy Colts tonight. I'm telling you. I think we're focused tonight. I hope we are. Gain of one on the play, second down and one yard to go for Bow. Their quarterback is Ranch Richard. I, I assume that's Rich, is it Richard or Richard? Uh, I would pronounce it Richard. Well, that's what I'm going to say then, Ranch Richard. And they line up in a split backfield with a wide receiver left and a wing to the right. They send motion back to the right, and they're going to run a pitch sweep out here to Coles, and Coles is going to be knocked down at the 40. Might have got another yard. He's going to bring up third down and eight. Good pursuit by the Lee Academy Colt defense, led by number 33, Stony Stone Street. A lot of hustle out there, Albert. Gain of about a half a yard on the play. We'll give him a yard on the spot. Third down and eight yards to go for the Bio Academy Colts. 10.45 to go in the first quarter. No score. I got chastised this week by a lady in a local establishment that said I didn't give the score enough, Bob. So if I don't give the score enough tonight, you're going to have to help me on that. I'll try. It's zero to zero right now. Third down and eight. Straight back to throws Richard. He throws. It's going to be intercepted by Bradley Gordon. And right down the sideline he goes. And Bradley Gordon is going to be tackled inside the 20-yard line down to about the 15-yard line. And yeah, he threw it right in his hands, Bob. I tell you, that was, I thought Bradley might break it. The guy made a good tackle down there, but uh, defense is looking good on the first series, Albert. Colts take over first down and 10 yards to go from Bio Academy's 15-yard line. We've struggled from right here all year long, Bob. Let's get off on a good foot right here and punch this first one in the end zone. Colts will break huddle, and we send Ivy D's wide to the right, and Wayne Bowling will be wide to the left. Bradley Gordon and Chris Terman are in the eye formation. Behind senior quarterback Duff, tight end Flowers lined up on the right-hand side. Four-man front for Bio Academy. And Duff barking out his signals, looking at a blitz, is going to run a pitch sweep to Terman. Terman trying to get to the corner, gets a great block at the corner, but the youngster fought it off. He grabbed his face mask. Number 24, Clay Coles. Reached out and grabbed Terman by the face mask and drug him down. That'll be a, uh, a penalty against the Bio Academy coach, which will be a half the distance to the goal line. Bradley Gordon threw a good block in. Albert got fought him off, but you know, that's a lot of hustle on Bradley's part. If, 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 if Bradley had knocked Coles down, Chris Terman would have scored a touchdown. But, uh, but a good defensive play by Clay Cole. And there's a half the distance to the goal line penalty against the Bio Academy coach, which is going to put the football at the... Let's call it the five-yard line. First down and goal to go. That's an automatic first down, I think. There's the call, personal foul, face mask, first down. First down and goal to go for the Lee Academy coach. We really need to take it in on this first drive, Albert. 
Jack Laney leads the offensive line out. Wayne Bowling goes wide to the right. Ivy Dees is wide to the left. Gordon and Stone Street now in the football game are split behind Duff. Tight ends lined up on the left-hand side. We're going to run the straight handoff to Stony Stone Street, and he goes untouched into the end zone for a touchdown. And the Lee Academy Colts have jumped on top, six to nothing, 9.41 to go in the first period. And it looks like a different team out there, Bob. Albert, it was a hole so big in that line, I believe I could run that ball. Well, I wouldn't go that far, but I, it was a nice hole. <laughs> good blocking up front. Good blocking. Lee Academy Colt offensive front doing a good job. And Ivy Dees has it teed up at the 10. George Miller had, will hold at the 10. Snapping will be Russell Harris with 9.41 to go in the first quarter. It's a good snap back. Ivy Dees gets it up, and it's going to be no good. Woefully short. 9.41 to go in the first period. Colts lead 6 to nothing. We pause one minute for this word from our sponsors. This is Lee Academy Colt Football. Bob has got a few hellos he wants to pass out here in a minute. In the next break we have, we'll do that. We've been on the air about 20 minutes, and you hadn't said anything about any of our local universities. So Bowling approaches the football and kicks it away. And it's going to be fielded by... 22, whatever that is, and right back up the middle he comes. He's going to be knocked down by 34, Jason Carpenter, who's back after an arthroscopic knee surgery. And he knocks Hiram Dilworth down at about the 30-yard line. And the Lee Academy Colt defense will go in action right there as the football is right on the 30. Jason Carpenter down doing a good job. Good to see that kid back, Bob. Yeah, I'll tell you. Bio Academy breaks the huddle and they send a wide receiver to the left and a wing to the right. And they're in a split backfield. Colts are in a five-man front. And Richard is going to give the football straight ahead to the fullback and he's going to be knocked down after about a gain of about a yard. Richard Lewis, along with number two, Wayne Bowling, Stony Stone Street, John Martin Harris, all doing a good job for Lee Academy defense, gain of a yard. Doing a lot of gang tackling tonight, Albert. That's another good sign. 8.57 to go in the first quarter. It's 6 to nothing, Marie. Bio breaks huddle and sends a wide receiver to the right and a slot to the right. And now they have three wide receivers to the right. One running back behind Richard. Coach still in the five-man front. Coach Phoenix said we'll probably stay in this all night. They bring motion back to the left. They run a draw play to Coles. He's knocked down for a loss. Back at the original line of scrimmage. Chet Stanley, Richard Lewis, Bradley Ribold, all in there for the Lee Academy Colt defense. And brings up third down and 10. Good crowd on hand tonight. Well, it's a different looking team tonight, Albert. Playing with a little bit of intensity. Coach Weiss told me before the football game that he compared the Jackson Academy game film with the pillow game film. And you can just see the difference in the intensity level from our first football game to our fourth football game. So he thinks he got a message across to these kids this week, and we're seeing a little a different looking football team here tonight. Richard, out of split backfield, is going to run a trap to uh, Cole, and he's going to be, it may be Dilworth, and he stopped at the line of scrimmage, and Lee Academy Colts will be, have forced Bio into punt, to punt. Six, 60, six to nothing is the score. That tackle was by Richard Lewis, number 59, and Wayne Bolin will get deep for the Lee Academy Colts as they have their quarterback, Richard, back to punt. Brad and Wayne Bowling standing at about his own 37-yard line. Coach trying to block it. They're going to get the kick away, and it's a high kick that is going to be fielded by Bowling. He dropped it, and the Bio Academy coach fall on it. So Wayne Bowling fumbles the punt. Bio Academy falls on it. They have excellent field position now inside of Lee Academy's 40 at the 37-yard line. Special teams, Bob, good gracious alive. Well, you know, that was one of those punts. I believe Wayne should have fair caught, Albert. I know hindsight's always 20-20, but those guys were bearing down on him pretty hard. I think he just took his eye off the ball a second. First down and 10 yards to go for Bowell. They've got it at Lee Academy's 42-yard line, trailing six to nothing. They line up in a, in a one-back set with three wide receivers. They bring motion back to the left now, and Rashard is going to run a pitch to Cole. And Cole is going to get, going to fumble the football, and this time he's going to get it back. 
Well, that was the first gain of any kind they've had tonight, Albert. Coles ran the football inside of Lee Academy's 40, gain of about four on the play. Second down and six yards to go. Fumbled the football, but showed a lot of hustle getting back on it. Two or three Colts were there and just could not get on it. 6.30 to go in the first quarter. Colts lead six to nothing. Bow breaks huddle and sends a wide receiver to the right, slot to the right. And Hiram Dilworth is going to be at a wing to the right. And Clay Coles is the lone running back behind Richard. Colts still in a five-man front. They bring Dilworth in motion, and they're going to run a draw play to Coles, and he's going to be knocked down. Richard Lewis from his right tackle position. They ran a draw play to Coles, and Richard Lewis knocks him down for no gain and brings up third down and four. Might have even lost a half a yard. Albert Bradley Robbo broke through there and was flying through the air and made that guy hesitate just a second, and Richard Lewis popped him. Bradley Ribold is going to play just on the defensive side tonight, which hopefully will keep him fresh. As Russell Harris will play the weak side guard for the Lee Academy Colts on offense tonight. Richard under the center on third down and six yards to go. Brings motion in the form of one, of, they're going to run a fake draw. And Richard is trying to get to the corner. He's going to be tackled by John Martin Harris. Stony Stone Street had him for a loss. He broke the tackle, and John Martin caught him from behind, brings up fourth down for Biles. Good hustle on our part, Albert. They'd gotten wide, and Stoney helped slow him down. Fourth down and six yards to go. So after that opening gain by Coles, they're going to be forced to punt again. 5-18 to go in the first quarter. Wayne Bolin will stand at about his own 10-yard line. Good, good snap back, and Richard gets the kick away. And this time it's going to take a Bow Academy bounce out of bounds inside the five. Coast will have horrible field position inside their own five yard line. 5.02 to go in the first quarter. Bob, I know you have a, you have a few hellos you want to say down in the concession stand. Yeah, I tell what you. What a great you, job they do. Oh, they do a super job down there. And a lot of these people go unthanked all year and they show up faithfully week after week. And I'm talking about Karen, Lynette, West. Don and Donna Dees, Billy Hopkins, Joe Collins, James Butler, and my good friend, Dr. Tommy Hughes. They really work hard, put out some of the best burgers in town, Albert. And we appreciate them a lot. There was a, pen, there was a flag on that play. We'll see what happens here. Coles will still have the football, I believe. But we but can't it, get it much deeper in our territory. But it'll be a, a half the distance to the goal line penalty, I think, against the Lee Academy Colts for a personal foul. Clay Dabbs just steps into the box with us up here. Albert, Clay called me this week and said that you were going to let him do the play-by-play -play and I was going to be the color man for Clay. I tell you, why don't you uh, let him put on your headphones for just about... Wait a minute, did, did you <laughs> hear what minutes. I just said? I, I, I know, Bob. You've been, uh, you've been demoted. Clay Dabbs joining me in the booth. Clay, how you doing, man? Pretty good, pretty good. Colts have it first down and 10 yards to go from inside their own five. And Andrew Duff has his backs in an eye formation and going to give the football to Bradley Gordon and Gordon's going to come out over the five to about the six yard line. Clay, are the Sigma Chi still undefeated? Uh, we lost two days ago, but uh, I think it was a fluke. A fluke? I don't think it'll happen again. Okay. Just jump in anytime. You see something you want to talk about. Chris Lively will check into the football game for the Colts, bringing out Wayne Bowling. No, brings out George Miller. That was a gain of about four on the play. And brings up second down and eight yards to go for the Colts. Wayne Bolin goes wide to the left. And Chris Lively is split to the right. And out of the split backfield, Duff, tight ends lined up on the right-hand side. Duff is going to take the football and going to run the handoff to Stone Street. And Stone Street is going to battle out close to the 10-yard line before he's knocked down by number 50 for the Bio Academy Colts. And that is Chris Ware. Third down and four yards to go now for the Lee Academy coach. Ivy D's check back in the game. Coach break huddle on third and four and get Wayne Bowling wide left, Ivy D's wide right. And Stone Street and Terman are in an eye formation. And we're going to split to the right to throw. And we're looking and we're going to throw the football. It's going to be caught by Ivy D's. Out over the 20, Dees breaks a tackle and gets out over the, uh, gets knocked down at the 25-yard line. Nice throw and catch from Duff to Dees. Duff really looked good on that play. Uh, I talked to Coach Weiss last weekend. And he said uh, Andrew's getting better each, each game, and uh, that's all he's got to do is just get better each and every game. And uh, I watched him play against Starfle, 
And he looked like he's doing a lot better right there. I tell you, I, I, I would have thought Andrew had his best game of the year last, last week against Pella in a losing effort. Uh, Cole Spray Cuddle and sent Ivy D's wide left. Wayne Bowling will be wide to the right. Stone Street's close and Bradley Gordon's deep out of the eye. Tight end Flowers have lined up on the left. Four man front for Bow. Here's a pitch sweep to Gordon, trying to get to the corner. Gordon's going to get to the corner, going to break a tackle, and going to pick up nine yards before he's knocked down by the Bow Academy Colts over there, out over the 30 yard line to about the 34. Well, Bradley just used his speed on that play, just kind of pitch him the ball, pitch him the ball and let him go. Gain of eight on the play, second down and two. Uh, Bob, you want to go work in the concession stand a little while? Albert, I have a message for you, but I can't say it over the radio. Second down and two yards to go for the Lee Academy Colts. 2.45 to go in the first quarter. We have wide receivers Albert, right in left. Albert, can you read sign language? Out of the split backfield. We're going to give the football, going to fake the football on the option, and Duff is going to get out to the 40-yard line and going to have first down yardage before he's knocked down by the Bio Academy Colts. First down for the Lee Academy coach needed a block. I've seen him give give the ball to the fullback a few times on that option, and uh, that time he just pulled it and, and turned the corner and gained good yardage. First down and 10 yards to go for the Lee Academy coach. Wayne Bowling goes wide left. Ivy Dees will be in the will be split to the right. Gordon and Stone Street. We're looking at a four-man Bio Academy front, straight back to throw, and throws it complete to Wayne Bowling. And Wayne Bowling, with great speed, gets inside of Bio Academy territory down to the 44-yard line before he's knocked down. Nice throw, nice catch. Looked like Wayne was about a step away from breaking that one all the way. Wayne Bowling, outstanding athlete. Likes to be called the deuce. Because he's a senior, I'll call him the deuce. If he was a junior, I wouldn't call him the deuce. Well, you can, you can only give seniors nicknames. That's right. I'm going to uh, get, get Clay to stay till the end of the first quarter with me. Split backfield for the Colts. Wide receivers both ways. Duff on first down is going to give the ball to Stone Street, and Stone Street's going to pull his way inside the 40, down to about the 37-yard line before he's knocked down. Colts offensive line, Clay's got control. Yeah, I think, I think if the offensive line really concentrates on what they're doing, I think they can take over the ball game. Gain of about seven on the play, second down and three yards to go for the Colts. Colts get Chris Lively split wide to the left. Ivy D's will split to the right. And Stone Street and Gordon will line up in the I formation. Scott Flowers is lined up on the right-hand side of the tight end. Springing to the right to throws Duff. Duff looking, throws it complete to Ivy D's. Inside the 30, knocked down at about the 28-yard line. Another nice throw and catch. Andrew's really impressed me. He's uh, he's showing me he can throw the ball. Lee Academy Colts have first down inside of Bio Academy's 30 at the 28. Wayne Bowling will get into the game, replacing Chris Lively. Clock is running. One minute and eight seconds to go in the first quarter. Jack Laney leads the offensive line out. Kerry Middleton, Russell Harris, Jonathan Poole, Richard Lewis, the front five for the Lee Academy Colts who control this football game. And Andrew Duff. Looking at a four-man Bio Academy front, may be checking off. There's an inside handoff to Stone Street. Stone Street runs inside the 25 down to the 22. Pickup of about five on the plate. Makes it second down and five yards to go for the Colts. That time they just ran the trap right, right behind Kerry Middleton, the right guard. He pulled, kicked out the tackle, and Stony Stone Street got about five yards. Kerry Middleton's wearing a familiar number, isn't he, Clay? Yeah, he is. Where's number 56? I had to give him permission to wear that number. Worn by uh, Clay, I got some bad news for you. You didn't have to give him permission. <laughs> Colts send a wide receiver left and a wide receiver right. And Stone Street close and Gordon's deep out of the eye on second and five. Springing to the left to throws Duff in a lot of trouble and knocked down. For a big loss, back outside the 30 to the 35. Bio Academy blitzed, got to him. First quarter's over. Thanks, Clay, for sitting up here with me for a little while. Let me give the headphones back to my good friend Bob Bobo. And as we, as the first quarter's over, we're going to pause one minute for this word from our sponsors. This is Lee Academy Cold Football.
On the first play of the second period, Andrew Duff sprints to the right to throw and is thrown for about another five or six yard loss. And the Colts are faced with fourth down now. Fourth down and about 22 yards to go outside of Bowles 40 at the 41. Colts get their punting team into the football game and Bowles will feel this punt. Wayne Bolin will punt. Snapping will be Russell Harris as our regular snapper, Jack Laney, unable to snap long because of the separated shoulder. And Wayne Bolin will stand inside of his own territory at about the 47. And we run a fake. And Bradley Gordon is not going to get it. He's going to be tackled at the line of scrimmage at the 40-yard line. Bradley might should have stayed outside then, Bob. Yeah. I tell you, we're pulling out all the stops early in the game tonight, Albert. For, that first, kind of surprised me on that. First down and 10 yards to go for the Bio Academy Colts as they have it just inside their own 40. Let's call it the 39. 11.07 to go in the first half. And good gracious, we, we're moving the football up and down the field and only lead six to nothing. Starting to take on a strange air like last week's game to me. Uh, and I mean the startable game. Bow in a split backfield, one wide receiver left and a wing to the right. And Richard's under the center. Colts in a five-man front. Richard may be checking off. They send motion back to the right. And Richard sprinting to the left to throw. Looking, dumps it off to Cole. Cole is going to be tackled. And he's going to gain out over the 45-yard line to about the 46. That's going to be a gain of about six and bring up second and four. I tell you, Albert, oh, Bradley Ribos really playing hard on that hurt ankle. He's all over the field. Bradley Ribos is not having to play offense tonight, and therefore is rested on when he comes in to play defense, and he's going to be a lot more effective player. 10-11 to go in the first half. I talked to Bradley last Saturday, and he told me they weren't going to fold the 10 up for this year, so I see he's playing with a lot of intensity. Let's call it a gain of seven, second down and three yards to go for the Bio Academy Colts. Colts in a five-man front. They send motion. And here's an inside handoff to number 80. And 80 is going to be the break a tackle. And we'll get first down yardage inside of Lee Academy Colt territory down to about the 47. And that is Dan Short from his wing position. Took it on a little inside handoff, a little misdirection, and runs the football in Lee Academy territory to the 48. Kerry Middleton got a hand on him, Albert, and uh Slowed him down, but they did get the first down. Okay, uh, Jason Carpenter's in the football game, and he's playing one of the inside linebackers for the Colts, giving Stony Stone Street a break. Christian Preuss and Jim Walker are the defensive corners for the Colts. And there's an inside handoff in there to youngster for Bio. That is number 22, Dilworth. Dilworth gets inside of the 45-yard line down to the 44. Gain of about four on the play. Brings up second and six. Richard Lewis takes out Jason Carpenter for the Lee Academy Colts. Chet Stanley made a good play there, Albert, and I see him kind of favoring that left shoulder. He hurt that a couple of weeks ago. Good to see Jim Walker out there at one of the corner, cornerbacks. Senior, uh, backup quarterback, playing some cornerback on defense. Christian Preuss. There's a pitch sweep to Coles. And Coles is going to be knocked down, going to gain about a yard on the play. Might have got two yards, going to bring up third down. I tell you, Coles really running hard. Let's give him a yard on the play, make it third down and three for the Lee Academy Colts. 8.39 to go in the first half. Colts need a big play here. Well, we had that good drive going a while ago, Albert, and stalled out. Like you said, that's what's hurt us this year. Big loss or a fumble or something yep. down in the other team's territory has hurt us all year long. Third down and three yards to go for Bow. Big play for, Colt, for the Colt defense. Five-man front. They may try to draw us off sides. Richard is under the center, and we're going to run the inside handoff to, to Short again, and Short is going to get very close to first down yardage before he's knocked down by the Lee Academy coach, Jim Walker, Wayne Bolin getting up Stony Stone Street off the bottom of the pile. Youngster for Lee Academy getting up a little slow, and that is Kerry Middleton. That's going to be very close to first down yardage. We'll wait and see where they spot it. Looks, do you think he's got it, Bob? Looks too close to call, Albert. And he does not have it. 
We're going to have timeout for a measurement. measurement. So we'll wait and see here. It's going to be very, very close. He's either got it by a little or missed it by a little. Colts get Ivy D's and... Are you, does that mean it's kind of close? Very, very close. As they stretch the chains out, and it is going to be short by about eight inches. I, I predict they go for it. What do you think? Fourth down, trailing six to nothing, 742 to go in the first half. I think they may go for it toss up. Clock is moving. Colts lead only six to nothing, having dominated the football game offensively. Fourth down and less than a yard to go. Richard's under the center. He's going to run a quarterback sneak. Oh, gosh. And, he's going, and we had him stop. We had him and he stop. Broke, and he broke out and to the outside and got it. Runs well, the football down to the 42. Chet Stanley tackles him. The middle was clogged up, and he pushed him back, and he went on off that right side. That would have been a huge uh, momentum shifter. First right down and 10 yards to go for Bow. And Bow breaks huddle and sends a wide receiver to the left and a wing to the right. And they're in a split backfield behind Richard, coached it in a five-man front. And they're going to run a quick pitch out here to number 22, Dealworth. And Dealworth's going to pick up about seven or eight yards on the play before Scott Flowers. And number two, Wayne Bolin, knock him down. Let's give him eight yards on the play. Brings up second and two. Good play there by Bowe Academy. Just ran a little scat play to the left. And he gets first, uh, picks up eight yards. 6.56 to go in the first half. Colts lead only six to nothing. We really need a big play here, Albert. Bio Academy breaks huddle and sends a wide receiver on both sides and out of the eye formation. Richard is going to give the football to the up man and he's going to get, not going to get first down yard. He's going to bring up third down and about a yard to go. Hiram Dilworth is knocked down. Gain of about a yard, breaks it, make it third and one. Albert, did I hear you mention my famous Frenchman friend a while ago? No, I did not. <laughs> Jason Carpenter checks into the football game. As Ivy D's taking out Christian Preuss and Jim Walker. We have a timeout on the field. Timeout's on behalf of the Bayou Academy coach. We pause one minute for this word from our sponsors. This is Lee Academy Colt football. Breaks huddle on third down and a yard to go. And they'll line up in a split backfield, wide receiver left and a wing to the right. Colts are in a tight six-man front goal line defense. And they give the football to Coles, and he's going to get close to the 25-yard line. And I think we'll have first down yardage, but we'll wait as they unstack. Tackle by the interior of the Lee Academy Colt defensive line, led by number 50, Bradley Rybolt and, and, and Kerry Middleton. It is first down yardage for the Bio Academy Colts. After the Colts attempted a fake punt from the Bio 40 on second, on fourth and 22, Bio has driven the football inside of Lee Academy Colt territory at the 26 yard line. The official having official timeout, having a little equipment problem down there one of the Lee Academy Colts. And Bow will have it first down and 10 yards to go from Lee Academy's 26. Got a few hellos you want to say, Bob? Well, the kids looking down at the crowd and seeing a good friend, Kirk Kincaid. Bob has hit his mute button here. Okay, I think you're ready. You're not back on. Here's a uh, pitch to the left to Cole. He fights inside of the 25-yard line to the 24. Come on. Testing. No, okay, now, now I think you're back on now, Bob. We're back on? Yeah. I was trying to say hello to my good friend, Kirk Kincaid, sitting down there, Albert. There was an awesome running back out here at Lee Academy second, in his younger days. Second down and five yards to go for the Bio Academy coach. Colt defense needs to tighten up here. Don't need to let these kids get a score in here. Also see Peter, I mean, Keith Phelps down there, played center back in the early 70s. Mid-70s. Five-man front for the Colts. I formation for Bio. Wide receivers both ways. Richard gives the football to Cole, and Cole's knocked down by Bradley Rybolt and Richard Lewis. And they twisted him like a pretzel and knocked him down for a loss. 
back to about the 22-yard line. Let's call it no gain on the play. Third down and six yards to go. I tell you, Albert Bradley is in that backfield on every play. 4.49 to go in the first half. Coach lead only six to nothing. Bowles had the football a long time. It is homecoming tonight, so we remind uh, Jeff back at the station about that. Halftime may last a little longer. Did you say homecoming? So get some country music records lined up. Wide receiver left, slot to the left for Bow. A pitch sweep out here to Cole, and he's going to be knocked down for a loss by finally by Bradley Rabo. Knocks him down for a loss of about five on the play. Bradley, Bradley Rabo is playing like a man possessed, Bob. He really is. Bradley popped him first, and he slid off, and Bradley Rabo finished him off. Loss of about five on the play. Make it fourth down and 11 for the Bio Academy coach. 4.06 to go in the first half. Colt defense needs to stop him right here. Super defensive play. A lot of hustle on the Colts part. Bio gets a youngster in the football game. Looks like Hiram Dill. No, number 32 for Bio. That's Anthony Michael. And Bio breaks subtle and sends a wide receiver to the right. They got three wide receivers to the right, one lone running back. I believe they're going to air it out here, Albert. They send motion back to the left, and there's a, uh, no, the quarterback, Richard, is going to be thrown for a loss. John Martin has hit him first, and Cam Middleton finished him back outside the 30, and coach off defense takes over. First down and 10 yards to go from their own 32-yard line. Good defensive stand by the coach. We needed that. A lot of hustle on the defense. First down and 10 yards to go for the Lee Academy coach. 3.30 to go in the first half. Colt offense needs to get another score here. Bradley Rabo getting some pats on the back. Coach Steve Marinelli. The Colts out of the split backfield with wide receivers both ways. Bio showing blitz. Duff may be checking off. 3.12 to go in the half. And we're going to run, going to try to run the outside, the, the veer handoff to the fullback. And Bio Academy was all over it. And Stony Stone Street's thrown for a loss. So if Andrew checked off, he checked off to the wrong play. Yeah, they looked like they kind of knew what was coming on that play, Albert. Loss of one on the play, second down 11. Chris Lively gets into the football game for the Colts. Colts don't need to lose any intensity because we're only ahead six to nothing. And Bio Academy has shown that they can move the football against our defense. We line up wide receivers both sides, Bowling and Lively. And Stone Street and Gordon are split, straight back to throw and throws it complete to uh, Bowling out over the 35-yard line, knocked down at about the 38, 37. Going to be a gain of about six on the play and going to bring up third down and four. Just a, a little three-step drop by Dove, a little hook pattern by Bowling, a little timing pattern, and brings up third and four. I tell you, Duff looks like he's throwing that ball pretty good tonight, Albert. George Miller brings out Lively, and George Miller goes wide to the right. Wayne Bowling will be wide to the left. And Stone Street and Gordon will be split behind Duff on third down and four yards to go. And Duff, barking out his signals, runs a pitch sweep to Gordon. And Gordon's in a lot of trouble. And Gordon's trying to turn the corner and runs over the tackler, but it's going to just gain about a yard on the play and going to bring up fourth down for the Lee Academy coach. Fourth down and about three. Well, they stopped him short, but he flat ran over that guy that Colts get their punting team into the football game. That means Wayne Bowling will punt, and Lee Academy coach failed to pick up a first down. 125 to go in the first half. Wayne Bowling will punt on fourth down and three. Snapping will be Russell Harris. Bow looks like they may be trying to block it. Gets a good snap, and Bowling gets the kick away, and it's going to be fielded by Dilworth. Deal worse in a lot of trouble. It's going to be knocked down back inside the 40-yard line at about the 36-yard line with John Martin Harris, along with Stony Stone Street and Bip Roberts down doing a good job. Russell Harris for the Lee Academy Colt punt coverage team. And Bow takes over first down and 10 from their own 35-yard line. They trail six to nothing. I tell you, Albert, that was great punt coverage because they had a return on, and that boys hustled down the field and made a good play. Bow breaks the huddle with a wide receiver left and a wing to the left and split backfield behind Richard. Tight ends lined up on the right-hand side. Coach showing blitz, and we're going to run a little inside handoff to, they're going to run a little inside handoff to Short, and Short's going to pick up maybe a yard, maybe two on the play. 
before he's tripped up by Chet Stanley from his defensive end position. Let's give him a yard and brings up second down and nine yards to go for the Bio Academy coach. 27 seconds to go in the first half. Russell Harris brings out Richard Lewis and Bio breaks the huddle and sends a wide receiver to the left, split backfield, slot to the left. And Richard is going to run an inside handoff to Clay Coles. Clay Coles is going to be knocked down out over the 40 by Stony Stone Street. Let's give him about the 41. Timeout on the play called by Bio. Timeout's on the field, six seconds to go in the half. We pause one minute for this word from our sponsors. This is Lee Academy Colt Football. The wide receiver left and a wing to the right. They send motion, Hiram Dilworth back to the right, and Richard is going to run a quarterback sneak and is going to get out to first down yardage, but the first half is going to be over. Coach leads six to nothing at the half. Allison Football second half is underway as the kick is away and it's going to be a low kick. It's going to be fielded by Andy Harris and Andy's going to do the smart thing and fall on it at the 34 yard line. So Andy Harris number 16 fields the kick and gets on it and Lee Academy Colt offense takes over first down and 10 yards to go from their own 34-yard line. Colts offensive front needs to take charge again, just like we did open the football game, Bob, and just get a touchdown on this opening drive. Yeah, this opening drive is critical. See Wayne Bowling out there trying to fire the team up. Wayne Bowling goes wide to the right. Ivy D's wide to the left. Stone Street and Terman now are split behind uh, Duff. Herman didn't get a whole lot of playing time in the first half, and the football is thrown out here to Wayne Bowling. Wayne Bowling slipped down, and uh, at, when, when he got his balance, was not able to come up with the football. Football thrown a little bit behind him, but had Wayne not slipped, he probably would have caught that. No gain on the play, second down and 10 yards to go for the Colts. George Miller replaces Ivy D's for the Lee Academy Colts. Second half just underway, Colts lead six to nothing. Not much offense in the first half. Wayne Bowling goes wide to the right. George Miller is wide to the left. And out of the split backfield, tight end is on the uh, left-hand side. We bring motion back to the right in the form of George Miller. And Duff is going to give the football to Stony Stone Street. And right up the middle he comes. And Stony Stone Street gets out over the 45-yard line, close to midfield before he's knocked down by number 31 for Bio. That's Joe Mathis. And first down yardage for the Lee Academy coach, so they'll have it first and 10 at their own 49. Stoney almost broke that one, Albert. He needed one block. He might have gone all the way. Lee Academy coach, offensive line. Good hole for Stoney that time. Doing a good job. See my good friend Peter D'Amelio down there, home from Ole Miss this weekend. A lot of the Ole Miss kids are home for homecoming, Bob, and the Mississippi State kids also, and Delta State kids. There's a handoff to Terman, off right tackle. Terman squirts inside of Bio Academy territory down to about the 47. We're going to give him about four yards on the play. He's going to bring up second and six. Bob, you got any predictions for tomorrow? Well, Albert, I've been thinking hard. I think uh, Ole Miss is going to upset Florida is my first prediction. Since Steve Spurry is 83-2 and two at home since he's taken over Florida, but I believe the Rebels are going to surprise him. Well, we'll wait for your pick on Mississippi State and Northeast Louisiana after this play. Second down and six yards to go for the Colts. Wayne Bolden goes wide to the left. Ivy Dees is in the slot to the left. Terman is deep, and Stone Street is close. Spring to the left to throw. We've got a screen set up to Scott Flowers. Scott Flowers is going to be tackled. Bio Academy read that pretty good, and... Uh, and they're going to be just about a gain of a yard on the play. It brings going to bring up third down and five. 10-14 to go in the third period. Bob, how about your prediction on Mississippi State and Northeast Louisiana? Albert, before I make that prediction, I want to apologize to all my ex-customers who are state fans for what I said about Coach Sherrill last time. Third down and five yards to go for the Lee Academy coach. Bip Roberts goes wide to the right. Ivy Dees is in the slot to the right. And out of the split backfield on third and five, Andrew Duff. He's going to give the football to Stone Street, and he's going to be tripped up 
just inside the 45-yard line down to about the 42, short of the first down yardage by about a yard and a half. It's going to bring up fourth down and a long one. Well, let's, let's call it fourth and one. So the Colts on fourth down and one yard to go, 9.26 to go in the third period. Colts on top, six to nothing. Bip Roberts checks out of the football game. Ivy Dees gets in, and Wayne Bolin goes wide to the left. Ivy Dees is going to be in the slot to the left. Tight ends lined up on the right-hand side, and Terman and Stone Street are split behind Duff on fourth down and a yard to go. The Colts are going to run a quarterback sneak, and Andrew Duff is going to get first down yardage inside the 40-yard line play. down to about the 39. Okay, Bob, that's first down for the coach. State in northeast Louisiana tomorrow, tomorrow night at Scott Field. I believe it's going to be a toss-up, Albert. I believe it's going to be a tie ball game for the State Bulldogs coming back after that rough weekend last week. So you're predicting a tie for a the tie. Mississippi State Bulldogs tomorrow. Yeah. Oh, and <laughs> coach go send Wayne Bowlin wide left, George Miller slot left. Stone Street close, Bradley Gordon's deep out of the aisle on first down and 10 from Bowles, 39. We're going to run straight off tackle play to Bradley Gordon, and Gordon fights his way inside the 30, down to about the 27. Coach running between the tackles, Bob, Albert, doing a good job. Albert, my good friend Tim Luster, who's a State fan, just came in and handed me a note and said that State was raising some money to put in an artificial turf because, you know, they figured out a way that the homecoming queens could graze at halftime. 8.36, to, that's enough. 8.36 <laughs> to go in the third they, quarter. They have installed sweet feed troughs on the goalposts this year and so they can put in the artificial turf. First down and 10 for the Lee Academy Colts inside of Bio Academy's 30-yard line. At the, let's call it the 27, Jack Laney. He's played excellent tonight with a separated shoulder. Brings the offensive line out. Colts in the split backfield. We bring motion back to the left in the form of George Miller. And the Colts are going to sprint and are going to try to run the option. And Andrew Duff's going to be knocked down by number 75 for the Bio Academy Colts. That's Cliff Metters. He did a good job. The Colts lose yardage. Colts running between the tackles, picking up big chunks of yards. Tried to go wide, and Andrew Duff's thrown down for a loss. Loss of about four on the play, three on the play, second down and 13 yards to go for the Lee Academy coach. We need to score this time, Bob. Albert, it's just like all year, we've been moving it real good between the 30s and we get, you know, inside the 30 and it, things seem to stall out. Maybe we can punch this one in. Gordon and Terman are split behind Duff. Dees and Bolin are split both ways. And there's a pass out here's overthrown intended for Wayne Bolin. Wouldn't have been much of a gain. The football was overthrown and Bolin went up to get it and did not get it. Third down and 13, third and 14 yards to go for the Lee Academy Colts now. They lead in the football game six to nothing, 726 to go in the third quarter. Excellent crowd on hand here tonight for the Lee Academy Colts homecoming. Good crowd of students, good crowd of ex-football players here tonight. Enjoyed hearing some of those ex-football players at the pep rally today, Albert. Wide receiver right, wide receiver left for the Colts, Bradley Gordon. Duff sprints to the right, looking, throws it out here. It's going to be caught by Wayne Bowling inside the 20, down to about the 19 of the 18-yard line. Going to be short of the first down, however, by about a yard. That was a great two catch by Wayne, Albert. He did real good staying in bounds then. A good throw by Duff, short of the first down by about a yard, and brings up fourth down for the Lee Academy Colts. 7.20 to go in the third quarter. Coach get Ivy D's into the football game, replacing George Miller. A pat on the behind on the top of the helmet, actually, by Coach Weiss that you could hear up in the press box. So, tell Coach him, Weiss has got his game face on tonight, Albert. 7.20 to go in the third quarter. Fourth down and a yard to go. Colts looking at a five-man Bio Academy front. They're showing blitz. Lee Academy just needs to knock them off the ball here. And Duff. He's going to take the football, trying to draw him off sides, and Duff just runs behind his left guard, gets down to about the 15-yard line, and has first down yardage. So good offensive line surge by the Lee Academy Colts. Colts have a first down inside of Bios 20 at the 15. I tell you, you could have gotten a bet out of me last weekend on whether or not Jack Laney would dress out tonight, and to see him in there playing center is just unbelievable. Tough kid. Tough, tough kid. And same thing with Bradley Ribo. Bradley was limping around year. Saturday. Last I didn't year. think he'd be playing. 
Split backfield for the Colts. Wide receivers both ways. Gordon and Terman, and we fumble the snap, snap the and it's bouncing around, and the Bio Academy Colts are going to get it. Football got kicked, it looked like, and Bio recovers it inside the, the 15 yard line at the 11. So the Colts keep the football for, uh, for almost six minutes and come away with nothing. And the Lee Academy Colt defense is going to be forced to stop Bio here as Bio will take it first down and 10 yards to go from the 11. Colts leading only six to nothing. Andrew looked like he never had a handle on that ball, Albert. I have never in my life seen a football team in struggle inside the 20-yard line like the Lee Academy coach do. I mean, it is almost eerie the way it happens. Bow runs it off, off left tackle to number 24, Coles, and Coles fumbles the football, but Bow gets on it. So the Lee Academy coach woes inside the 20 continue. Uh, 6.24 to go in the third quarter. Coach lead only six to nothing. Ricky, I mean, Albert. I saw Coach Weiss look at that clipboard. I thought he was going to take a bite out of it after that fumble. 6.12 to go in the third quarter. Second down and four yards to go for the Bio Academy Colts. Bio staying in the huddle a long time. And they break huddle and send a wide receiver to the left and a wing to the right. And they're in a split backfield behind Richard. And there's a pitch to Coles. And Coles is going to be knocked down by the Lee Academy Colt defense. Let's see who gets up off the bottom of that pile. I believe it's number 59, Richard Lewis. That's who it is. And he's tackled short of the first down mark at about the 21-yard line and brings up third down and one. Clock well, if we could hold them here, Albert, we could get good field position on the punt. It's Clock is running play. with 536. Lee Academy Colt defense needs to dig in, like Bob said. Bio breaks huddle and sends a wide receiver to the left and a wing to the left, slot to the left, and they're in a split backfield. Coach showing blitz. They send motion back to the right, and they run a quarterback sneak, and I don't think he got it's it. It's going to be close. He might not have gotten it, Albert. We'll just wait and see when he gets up, see where they spot it. I believe he's going to get it where they're spotting it now. Is they're okay. going to call... Bradley Ribo. Time out for a measurement here. Richard, Richard Lewis, Lewis and Bradley Ribo over there. Up there for the coast. I think he got it, but we'll wait and see. 5.04 to go in the uh, third quarter. We played the first half and went through the complete homecoming ceremony in one hour. So another fast moving football game here at Lee Academy. You first think down for Bow. You think they're running the clock fast tonight since I'm in the booth? That could very easily have something to do with it. First down and 10 yards to go for the Bio Academy Colts. Colt defense needs to stiffen up. Jim Walker and Christian Proyce are the cornerbacks out there. Bradley Rybolt's playing strong safety. Wayne Bolden's playing free safety for the Colts. Scott Flowers and Sony Stone Street are the inside linebackers. Bow is going to run a quick pitch out here to number, uh, looked like that was to Cole, that was to Dilworth. Dilworth runs out over the 25 yard line to the 28 before he's knocked down. Well, that's really a quick pitch. He gets that ball to that guy fast. Pickup of eight on the play, second down and two. Jim Walker on the stop for the Lee Academy Colts. Albert, we need to force a turnover or something to change the flow of this game. 4.15 to go in the third quarter. Colts lead six to nothing. Too close for comfort. Richard is going to fumble the snap. And let's see who gets it this time. We'll just have to wait till they get up out of the pile. I believe Bio fell back on it, and they did. Every fumble they fumble, they get on. Every fumble we fumble, they get. I mean, Bio gets on. Loss of a yard on the play brings up third down and three yards to go. But another big play for the Colt defense. Three forty-six to go in the third quarter. Clock is running. Six to nothing, Marie. Thank you, Low. On third down and three yards to go, they send motion in the form of Dilworth, and they're going to run the inside handoff to Short, and Short's not going to get the first down as he's going to be stopped short of the thirty at about the twenty-nine, going to bring up fourth down. 
So Bow will be forced to punt, I believe. And it's fourth down and two yards to go for the Bow Academy Colts. And they're forced to punt as they get their punting team into the football game. Well, he stopped them then. Hopefully, we'll get good field position on this. You know, this punt. is a this is a good spot for a fake right here from from Bow. They've got they're, they're a double A school. They're not a conference game for them. Let's see what happens. Richard gets the snap and gets the kick away. We got a flag. A flag Albert. on the play. Wayne Bolden calls a fair catch inside the 40 at the 38 yard line. We'll wait and see what the flag is. They're counting players. I believe the Colts have got 12 players, 12 men on the field. And we do. We have 12 out there right now. And that's going to give the Bio Academy Colts a first down. So mental mistake after mental mistake is haunting the Lee Academy Colts in this 1995 football season. And that's an illegal substitution against the Lee Academy Colts. And that'll be a first down and 10 yards to go for the Bio Academy Colts. Boy, oh, we're man. Albert. 2.51 to go in the third quarter. Colts lead six to nothing. So the Colts had 12 men on the field. Well, you and, know, Bio, and, and that's a 15 yard penalty too. So that puts the football out to the 45 and the Colts have it there first down and 10 yards to go from their own 45. When I say Colts, I mean the bio Colts. 246 to go in the third quarter. Five-man front for the Colts, split backfield for bio. Richard going to run a scat pitch out here to number 22, Dealworth. And he's just, he got a little bit to the corner and is knocked out of bounds inside of Lee Academy Colt territory. First down yardage, and Coach Cal Finn is mad. He throws his headset down. And that's first down for Bow. That's that quick pitch again, Albert. They really get it outside fast on that play. Coach did not showing near the intensity of the second half that they showed the first half. Need a fire. And Bow breaks huddle and sends wide receiver to the left and a slot to the left and a split backfield behind Richard. Coach in a five-man front. And they're going to run the inside handoff to Dilworth. Great play. And Richard Lewis is just going to make a great play. Super. As he submarined under and got Hiram Dilworth and stopped him for no gain at the 44-yard line, second down and 10 for the Bio Academy Colts. 2.17 to go in the third quarter. Colts lead six to nothing. Richard Lewis got through the blockers and just made a great defensive stop on that play. That was actually a loss of a yard on the play. Let's make it second down, 11 yards to go for the Bio Academy Colts. They break up. Boy, they huddle a long way away from the ball, don't they, Bob? Mm -hmm. They don't want anybody to hear what they're calling. They send motion in the form of Dilworth back to the right, and they're going to run a pitch sweep to Cole out here. Cole is going to, going to bounce out over the inside the 40-yard line down to about the 38 for Scott Flowers and Stony Stone Street. Bradley Rybolt and Chet Stanley. Pick up of about four on the play, brings up third down and six. Bo Howell just said the ball was run, run by Clay Dabbs. Uh, Another third down play. I don't Howard. think Clay's got any high school eligibility left. I'll check on that. <laughs> Third down and six yards to go. Another big play for the Lee Academy Colts. I believe they'll go for it if they don't make it. Five-man front for the Colts. And there's a straight handoff in there to Coles. And Coles is going to be stopped short He'll of the 35-yard stop. line at about the 36. Jason Carpenter will get into the football game for the Lee Academy Colts. And it's going to bring up fourth down. Fourth down and about three. So I'm sure that Bow will go for this. Trailing six to nothing with 44 seconds to go in a very fast-moving football game. All right, Albert, what play do they run? That quick pitch? If, if I was them, that's what I would run. And they're on fourth down. They're going to run the quick pitch. 
and he is not going to get it Boy, as Russell close. Harris made a good play. Wayne Scott Bowen Flowers was made a good play. It. We just have to wait until they spot the football. I don't think they got it. And the Lee Academy coach take over first down and 10 yards to go. Uh, so good defensive play by Russell Harris. I believe they went to the well once too many times on that quick pitch. Because you know if we can predict it, you know somebody else might can. 16 seconds to go in the third quarter. Third quarter's almost over. We might get a playoff, might not. 10 seconds, Duff steps into the huddle. Coach leads six to nothing. Break huddle, we don't have enough players. Third quarter's fixed to be over. Third quarter's over. We pause one minute for this word from our sponsors. Coach leads six to nothing. This is Lee Academy Colt football. Bo, that's Clay Coles, not Clay Dabbs. You said Clay Dabbs about three times. <laughs> Good going. Good going, Bo. Uh, no, hey, everybody turn around and look. Yeah. On the first play of the fourth period, the Lee Academy coach tried to run the stop and go to Wayne Bowling, and Andrew Duff was sacked for a loss, loss of about two yards on the play. And brings up second down and 12 yards to go for the Lee Academy coach. Chris Lively gets into the football game for Wayne Bowling. And Jack Laney leads the offensive line out, and Chris Lively will be split to the left, and Ivy Dees will be in the slot to the left. Gordon and Terman are split behind Duff, and we're going to give the football to Gordon, and he's going to fight out to the 35-yard line. A little bit of miscommunication there between Duff and Gordon from the fullback position as they bumped into each other. And brings up gain of about three on the play. Brings up third down and nine. 10.58 to go in the football game. Coach hanging on to a precarious six-to-nothing lead. Albert, I'm afraid this one's going to be down to the wire again. Bowling goes wide to the left. Ivy Dees goes wide to the right. Gordon and Terman are in the eye formation behind Duff on third down and nine yards to go. And Duff sprints to the right to throw. Looking and throws. It's going to be overthrown. Intended for Ivy Dees. He had first down yardage and just a little bit out of his reach. And the Colts are going to be forced to punt. Ivy had done a good job, Albert. He made sure he'd gotten past that first down stake and it was just a little overthrown. I see Natalie Morris down there in the stands waving at me. Also, Amelia Flowers down here seeing her brother play for, I think, the first time this year. Wayne Bowling will punt and gets a high snap and pulls it down and gets it away, but it's blocked. And it's going to be fielded in midair by the Bio Academy coach number 30, and he's going to run the football inside the 20 down to about the 18 or 19-yard line. And Bio Academy is in business. First down and 10 yards to go inside of Lee Academy's 20 at about the 17. And I tell you, we let them stay around this football game too long, Bob. Yep. Coach get their defensive football team into the game. And Bio's operating deep inside of Lee Academy territory at the 17-yard line. 10-19 to go in the football game. Coach leading six to nothing. We're trying to self-destruct, Albert. We just got to reach down and, you know, make a big play here. Youngster for Colts is having to come out of the game. I believe that Stony Stone Street may have a mouthpiece problem or either he is bleeding. We'll wait and see. Stoney looks like he may have a bloody lip there or bloody chin or something. And they're taking his helmet off. He's bleeding out of the nose. First down and 10 yards to go for the Bio Academy Colts from the Lee Academy Colts 17-yard line. Colts in a five-man front. Richard's under the center and going to give it on the inside handoff to number 22, Dilworth. He fights inside the 15-yard line down to the 13-yard line. 
Well, he's knocked down by the Lee Academy coach. I got a bad feeling, Bob. Yeah. Richard Lewis had broken through Albert and almost threw him for a loss. Gain of about four on the play. Second down and six yards to go for the Bio Academy coach. Stony Stone Street checks back into the football game, replacing Jonathan Poole, who had checked in. Nine and a half minutes to go in the game. Coach leads six to nothing. Bow really? breaks huddle with a wide receiver left, wide receiver right, and they're in an eye formation behind Richard. And he's going to take the football and give it off left tackle to Cole, and he's not going to get anything. Might have got a yard as the Lee Academy Colt defensive front, Scott Flowers, and number 33 Stone Street from the inside linebacker positions, along with Rye Bolt and Richard Lewis doing a good job. No gain on the play. Brings up third and five still for the, for the Bow Colts. That was a good play, Albert. They're not getting much up the middle. Jonathan Poole will check into the game for Stone Street as he's having to come back out because his nose is still bleeding. Which means that Jason Carpenter will play inside linebacker. Poole will be at one of the tackles. Third down and five yards to go. Big play for the Colts. They look, look, and throw it over the middle. It's complete to the, for the Bio Academy's wide receiver inside of the five-yard line down to about the four. So Bow Academy Colts will have it first down and 10 yards to go. First down and goal to go, I'm sorry, inside of Lee Academy's five at the four. That was a good play then. They brought their receiver across the middle of the field. Good pass. Bow Academy has hung around this football game a long time and got a chance to take the lead here. It's Colts in a goal line defense. And they're going to run a pitch sweep to Coles, and Coles is going to be stopped. Might have even been thrown for a loss back around the five. Good play out there by number 66, Russell Harris, from his right defensive end position. And they are going to lose a yard on the play. Let's call it a loss of a yard and brings up second down and goal to go from the five. Fans are just, for the Lee fans, are just sitting on their hands. It's unbelievable. They need to get up and make a little noise. 7.50 to go in the football game. Colts lead six to nothing. They have trip wide receivers to the right, and they're going to run a pitch sweep back to the weak side to Coles. He's going to fight down inside the five. Might have got back to the original line of scrimmage at the four, and is going to bring up third down and goal to go from the four-yard line. Nice play by Richard Lewis. We have a timeout on the field. Timeout's taken on behalf of the Bio Academy coach, and we're going to pause one minute for this word from our sponsors. This is Lee Academy Colt football. Boy. <laughs> Lee Academy Colt defense on third down and goal to go from the four-yard line. In a goal line defense, Richard is going to take the football and drop back to throw. It's looking. Now he's going to have to run the football. It's going to be tackled short of the goal line by the Lee Academy Colt defense. Good play out there by... Scott Flower from his inside linebacker position and brings up fourth down and goal to go from about the three yard line. Might have lost a yard on, the, might have lost a yard, brings up fourth down and goal to go from the three. And we have another timeout on behalf of Bow. Timeouts on the field. We're going to pause one minute again for this word from our sponsors. This is Lee Academy Colt Football. <coughs> Bio Academy Colts. They trail six to nothing against the Lee Academy Colts. This is the play of the game, Bob. 6.59 to go in the football game. Colt defense needs to have a big play. Bradley Rybolt out there pumping his fist, getting the football team fired up. Slapping helmets. And Bio breaks huddle on fourth down and goal to go from the three. They will huddle up at about like the 20. <laughs> They're running a wind spread to get to the line. Colt defense, B digging in, Bio Academy. Going to run a pitch Ball, sweep fumble, and fumble the fumble. football, and Richard's going to be Colt knocked Colt. down. Good defensive stand by the Lee Academy coach. The fans finally got up and did a little noise down there. Boy, that was a great play there. And a good play by the Lee Academy defense. Did not see who made the play, but they fumbled the snap coming out from under the center. The Lee Academy Colts will have it first down and 10 yards to go from their own nine. Phil Dodge will just stepped in the booth with us here. Phil gave the team a pep talk today, Albert. I'm going to see if it worked or not. 
Colts have it first down and 10 from their own nine. Jack Laney leads the offensive line. We dodged a bullet then. Jack sure Laney did. leads the offensive line out, and we have a wide receiver left, Wayne Bowling, slot left, Ivy Dees. Out of the eye formation, the Lee Academy Colts. We're going to take the football and give it to Bradley Gordon, and Bradley Boy, Gordon's going to be knocked down for a loss. Back at about the six-yard line. So the Lee Academy defense has played inspired football here tonight. But we've sputtered on offense again. Once again, inside the 20s, unable to push the football over the goal line. We've had three, three scoring opportunities and only capitalized on one. Albert, we really need to get us at least one first down to give us a little room here. 6.04 to go in the football game. Coach leads six to nothing. We're in an eye formation again with wide receivers both ways. We sprint to the left. We're looking, we're looking, and we're going to throw the football deep downfield. It's going to be caught and dropped by Wayne Bowling. He slid in there and almost caught it, but we have a flag on the plate. I believe that's going to be holding against the Lee Academy Colts. That was almost a big play there, Albert. Of course, it would have been in vain if we're guilty of holding. So let's see what Bow will do here. It's going to be holding against the Lee Academy Colts. Holding against the Colts is the call. Wayne had gotten a step behind that guy, and it was a pretty good throw by Andrew. Just I know in the pros, holding in the end zone is a safety. But let's see what they do here. They may decline this and bring up third down and 12 or third and 11. Holding against the Lee Academy Colts is declined by the Bio Academy Colts. So third down and 12 yards to go for the third and 11 yards to go for the Lee Academy Colts. Ivy Dees checks into the football game for George Miller. And we break huddle and send a wide receiver to the left in Wayne Bowling, wide receiver to the right in Ivy Dees. And out of the split backfield with Stone Street and Gordon, we're going to, Duff is going to take the football looking at a blitz and going to give the football on the inside handoff to Bradley Gordon, and Gordon's going to be stopped at about the seven-yard line. Maybe have got, might have even stopped for no game. Colts are going to be forced to punt. I know Wayne's thinking about that last punt. We just really got to block good and give him some time. So the Lee Academy Colts are going to punt here. 5.26 to go in the football game. Coach Weiss looks like he's taking all the time in the world to get this punting team in. We're going to call a timeout, I can tell you, as we get close to the delay of game here. 5-10 to go in the first half. Now Andrew's walking up to the official and going to call timeout. 5.03 to go in the football game. Coach leads 6 to nothing. We pause one minute for this word from our sponsors. This is Lee Academy Colt Football. He wouldn't do that. Surprise you when you ran that fake punt on fourth and twenty two. Fourth down and 11 yards to go. I think it's closer to fourth and 12 for the Lee Academy Colts. We have Wayne Bowling standing about five yards deep in the end zone to take this snap and try to get this kick away. Bio Academy blocked it a minute ago. This time Bowling is going to get the kick away and it's going to be a driving kick that's going to bounce. Good and going punt. to take a Lee Academy bounce out over the 40 yard line to about the 42. So a good punt under a lot of pressure that time by Wayne Bowling, and backs Bio back outside Lee Academy 40 at the 42. I tell you, Albert, punting out of our own end zone after Wayne had that last punt block, that was a great effort. Good snap and a good punt. Jack Laney might have been snapping that time. Jack's not seeing any defensive action tonight for the Colts. Nursing a separated shoulder and playing offense. First down and 10 yards to go for the Bio Academy Colts. Coach, the Bio Colts had an excellent opportunity thwarted by the Lee Academy Colt defense as they had first down and 
10 yard, first down and goal to go from our five and was a, unable to push it across. They're going to run a pitch sweep to Coles. They just keep giving it to him, and Coles gets outside and is going to be knocked down inside of the Lee Academy 40 at the 37, going to gain about four on the plate. But well, their defense has uh, responded every time tonight. they got to dig in one more time and hold this team. Second down and six yards to go for the Bio Academy Colts. Lee Academy Colts clinging to a 6 to nothing lead, having scored in the first quarter after a pass interception by Bradley Gordon. Colts struggled on offense tonight big time. 4.44 to go in the football game. Richard's under the center, and he's going to take and going to run the inside handoff to Short, and he's not going to get anything as Chet Stanley, along with Bradley Rybolt, step up there and not Short down and sling him back for might have even lost a yard on the play. He's going to lose more than a yard. He's going to lose two yards. I Third you, down Chet, and eight yards to go. I'm sorry, Bob. Chet Stanley and Bradley were just waiting there for him, Albert, and they pounded him. Great Third, defensive play. Third down and seven yards to go for the Bio Academy coach, trailing six to nothing. They break huddle. And they send, they have trip receivers to the right side now. And Coles is the one running back behind Richard. Now they send Dilworth in motion. And Richard's going to be sacked by Chet Stanley, number 84, nose to nose, Bob. And I mean, he crunched it. He did. He didn't see him coming. He was looking down the field, and Chet Stanley just blew in from that left side and really made a great hit. Fourth down now, fourth down and 11 yards to go for Bow. So Chet Stanley, from his left defensive end position, beat his blocker and ended up. Richard turned and saw Chet right at the very last second, and they ended up hitting nose to nose, and Chet Stanley had a full head of steam going, and uh, you know who won that battle? No mercy. 324 to go in the football game. Four big and play 11. here, Albert. Big play for the Lee Academy coach. They're going to run, fake the inside trap, and Richard is just going to throw it downfield. It's going to be incomplete, intended for youngster Fabio down there. And for Dan Short, the Lee Academy Colts offense will take over first down and 10 yards to go on our own 42. And our defense has really played they good tonight, They have played Bob. super. They're beat up, and they are really in there hustling. Wayne Bowling made a good play on that last pass, Albert, defending back there for the Colts. Colts get Andrew Duff into the football game. With a play from Coach Ricky Weiss, we've got to get out of the huddle now. We've been a little late getting in. And we send Wayne Bowling wide to the left. Ivy Dees will be in the slot to the left. We need to score a touchdown. 3-10 to well, go in the football game. How about just game. holding on to the ball for three minutes and ten seconds? Duff's under the center. He's going to take the football and going to run the inside handoff to Terman. He almost squirts through, gets out over the 45-yard line to about the 47-yard line before he's knocked down. Pick up of about four on the play and brings up second down and six yards to go. See Jack Laney out there shouting some words of encouragement to his teammates in the huddle. If we could make us one or two first downs, Albert, I believe we could hold on to the ball and win this game, run the clock out. Stone Street checks into the game for the Colts, taking out Terman at one of the running back positions. And we break huddle and send a wide receiver to the right and Wayne Bowling, wide receiver to the left in the form of Ivy Dees. <clears throat> and Duff out of the eye formation. Looking at a four-man Bio Academy front. He's going to take the football and run a pitch sweep to Gordon. Gordon looking for a block. He's going to get the block. He's going to break into the secondary. and going to be tackled out inside of Bio Academy's territory at about the 47-yard line. And it's going to be very close to first down yardage. I believe Bradley had the yardage for the first down. He cut back. That guy hit him, but he got it. But he got first down yardage anyway. Bob, who we play next week? Do you know? We SBC go to SBC at, at SBC. next week. We'll remind everybody, if you can't go to the game, tune in on WKDJ. We'll be on the air at about 7.20. Well, right now, we got the Bio Academy coach for two more, more minutes and 15 seconds. And we have Chris Lively wide left. Ivy Dees is wide to the right. They're in a four-man front showing blitz. Hey now we bring motion back to the left in the form of Dees and Duff. He's going to run the inside handoff to Stone Street, right off right tackle, and he's going to get inside of Bio Academy's 45-yard line down to about the 43 before he's knocked down. Pick up of about four on the play, brings up second and six. Michael Campanova stepping into the booth here. 
Michael Campanova, my good friend. Michael, did you hear Bob's predictions tonight? No, I didn't. Ole Miss is going to beat Florida, and State's going to manage a tie. <laughs> Second down and six yards to go for the Lee Academy Colts. One and a half minutes to go in the game. Run, clock, run. Eye formation for the Colts. Wide receiver left, slot left. Four man front. We give it off left tackle to uh, Gordon. It's almost like they know when we get into the eye formation, we're going to run Gordon off left tackle because they've stuffed that about three times. Timeout is called on behalf of the Bio Academy Colts. Timeout on the field. That's their final one, I think. We pause one minute for this word from our sponsors. This is Lee Academy Colt football. What would you know? Third down and six yards to go for the Lee Academy Colts. As Jack Laney leads the offensive line out, and Bio Academy is in a four-man front with four linebackers. They're showing blitz from both sides, and Duff on third down and six. He's going to take the football and going to run the bootleg. We got our fullback open, and now we throw it out here. It's going to be intercepted by Bio, and we have a flag on the play as Bio is going to run the football out to the 40-yard line. We'll wait and see what this call is. I believe it's going to be I believe it's going to be offensive pass interference, but we'll wait and see. Cold defense is going to be called on again with 106 to go in the game. Howard, I believe Andrew might. That was not a flag on the ball. play. That was the official throwing his cap where the interception took place. Clock is running. One minute exactly to go in the football game. Bio has no more timeouts. Lee Academy Colt defense needs to play tough right here at the end of the football game again. Richard, back straight back to throw, getting pressure. Throws it over the middle. It's going to be intercepted and dropped by Bradley Gordon. Gordon had it, and Wayne Bolden had it too, and they collided, and the football falls to the ground with 49 seconds to go in the game. Good pressure that time by Chet Stanley. Chet Stanley's been in there all night, Albert. He plays wide open all the time. Number 84. Need to come out. If you hadn't seen him play, come out and watch him play. 49 seconds left in the game. They're going to run a draw to Cole. And boy, I tell you, Richard, Richard Lewis, Lewis again. is going to meet him. And he's going to just knock him back for a loss back inside the 35-yard line. I tell you the 39 seconds to go in the football game. And Bio is just going to slam it to the ground, it looks like. Clock is running, 31 seconds to go. Bio is just going to ground the football and it's going to stop the clock with 26 seconds to go in the game, but it's going to bring up fourth down and about 11 yards to go for Bow. I tell you, the middle of our defensive line tonight, Albert, has been really tough. Lee Academy Colts defense has really, really kept us in this football game. Our only touchdown of the night was set up by the defense. So the Colts offense will go back to the drawing board next week and try to get ready to play a really, really good SBC football team. And on fourth down 11, Bow with 26 seconds to go. Richard straight back to throw, throws the football down. It's going to be intercepted by Christian Proyce. And Christian Proyce is up the sidelines. And Christian Proyce is going to be knocked out of bounds inside of Bow Academy's 25-yard line at the 21-yard line. 14 seconds to go in the football game. Lee Academy coach will just have to fall on it one time as sophomore defensive back Christian Preuss makes, his, makes an interception at about his own 40 and runs the football back to Bio Academy's 21-yard line. Richard Lewis was out there, Albert, and he wanted to throw a block, but it would have been a clip. So the Lee Academy Cold defense, you can just credit this win to that bunch of 11 youngsters because they absolutely dominated the Bio Academy offense. And the Colts will just fall on this one time with 14 seconds to go, and the Colts will win this football game six to nothing. Bio Academy has no timeouts left. George Miller is standing back at about the Standing back at about the 35-yard line, there was a flag on the play. His personal foul against Bow was declined. Got to fall on it one time. Got to execute one snap. And 
And we fall on it. It's a ball game. And this football game is over. Lee Academy coach win it six to nothing. And it was a tough one, Bob, just like we thought it would be. And we're going to take this one minute timeout for this word from our sponsors. And we'll be back with a wrap up. This is Lee Academy Code Football. 